Hey guys, this is Malcolm McDowell, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about the current events, kind of what's going on um, in news and in the world today. Um, initially, I planned on sharing mostly stories about my upbringing and my life, but I feel like those things just need to be put on a pause for a little bit, um, just to share my perspective um, a little bit about how I felt during this moment uh, dealing with George Floyd and my condolences to the family. Um, greatly sorrowful for what's going on right now and it's super unfortunate um, that things had to turn out the way they turned out. Um, I want to say too, normally I'm not a person that talks about politics. I don't talk about injustices or much of anything to be honest. If I'm being completely real, I just usually keep it to myself. Um, and if I'm asked, I'll share my opinion. But typically I try to keep things in my own heart and just kind of reflect on it, listen, observe. And from what I'm observing and from watching, you know, what's been going on, um, I realize I am affected just as much as others, um, especially being an African-American male although I am a believer and I am a Christian. And I realize that even if I think that this doesn't affect me in some way, just because I'm not necessarily in that predicament, um, it does because I'm still seen just as many African-Americans are in, in respect to how they're perceived by their skin color. Um, a few questions that come up from coworkers that kind of just wanted to understand what was going on and I didn't plan on talking about it but they were just as flabbergasted by just what's on the news right now and so out of frustration um, I tried to give my perspective um, and shared you know from when I was a teenager which is still related to a story of mine but um, I remember, you know, being pulled over or it wasn't even being pulled over. Actually, we were broad daylight, in Nashville, looking at cars, me and some friends. And next thing you know, seven cop cars pulls up and throws us against the fence. And we never were told why the cops were called. No one ever told us to get off the property. Nobody ever explained anything. Um, but maybe it was based on stereotype. I have no idea. Um, but I, I never forgot that moment and I realized that people all around the world go through a lot of different things like this all the time. Uh, it's kind of been an ongoing thing and now people are speaking out about it and now people are stepping up, people are protesting um, because they want to be heard and it's difficult when people feel like they're not heard and that their opinion doesn't matter. And so people tend to respond in the way they feel is best for them. Um, and as I explained, um, as I continued to share with the coworker about the details of what I saw from the video and what I perceived what was really going on, um, you know, this is just my opinion, of course, this doesn't um, hold much weight, but some people have seared consciences as the Bible talks about. And I know that God leaves people over to a reprobate mind to where they're able to just go by their own devices and do what they will. Some people don't have good in them. And so, or they've ignored the good that wants to influence them to do right and they choose to do wrong. And so, like I said, it's super unfortunate what happened to George Floyd and, 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 I realize when I try to think that, when I even try to have the thought that this doesn't affect me, I remember right after this moment, I remember going to the lake, sitting in my car, and I thought, what if somebody calls the cops on me just because I'm sitting in my car and assumes that I'm loitering or something like that? So even if I try to remove the thought from my mind, still people may see me as a threat based on my skin color. And so I'm not using that as an excuse, but just wanting people to understand the perspective. 
So regardless of that I'm a Christian and that I, I'm nice and my attitude uh, is perceived that way because I, I, I live a life of love and I want to make sure forgiveness is up front and that we always love and forgive. Um, but then at the same time, I do understand that justice must be served because God is a God of justice. And so I just wanted to share my point of view uh, on this matter. And I understand people may agree or disagree, and that's fine. But um, yeah, I think that's all I had to say about it. So I'll see you guys next time. It's Malcolm McDowell. I'll see you later.